morning, how are we? So today we're going to try a Pilates walk. Uh, something new and different. Let's just do a quick up first guys. So we're just going to tap out to the side first. Try and keep a little bend in that supporting leg. Four more. Oops, that lose your balance. <laughs> Tap out to the side. So you can either tap the ground or you can take your leg out and try and balance on that one foot. Four. Wing and grab that knee. Let's try and stay nice and tall and keep that belly switched on the whole time if we can. I know it's easy sometimes to forget about it, but just whenever you think of it, try and brace those abs to st help stabilize the whole body. Connection between the upper and lower part of the body. Four more here. Oops. Two. Great. Okay, let's take it opposite arm, opposite knee. Squeeze up nice and hard. Three more, please. Great. Okay, let's take the feet wide. I'm just going to tuck this in because it keeps coming up. I don't want to show you my belly. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to tip over. Bring one hand in front. Take one hand over the head. You might find one side's a little bit easier than the other. Two more. Great job. Okay, let's just take it now, just to a little shoulder roll. Just baby, baby rolls back. And forwards. Good job. Let's take the hands out in front. Crisscross. Try and again, we don't want shoulders up here. Take the shoulders back and down, always thinking good alignment. I know I say it a lot, but we never want to work from a rounder position because that's not going to assist us. Three. Great work. Okay, let's just put our hands on our hips now. We're going to take some nice big hip circles. And then switch in direction. Great work. Back to the center. Let's just rotate that whole body. Hands out wide, shoulders relaxed. Squeeze that tummy. Turning the shoulders and hips as one. Elbows in. You keep the elbows just slightly lower. Bend the shoulders. Two. Roll each way. Okay, feet out shoulder width apart. We're going to open up those hips like we're trying to do 
a half circle with the knee. Three more. Okay, so it's time to get started. So what we need, obviously, for more Pilates is a wall. Uh, we're going to begin with a hip bridge. A glute bridge, hip glute, same thing. So we're going to begin. We want our legs to be, lower legs to be parallel to the ground. So not up here, not down here. So in line with the floor. We're going to relax those shoulders. We're going to push through the wall and we're going to come up, squeeze our glutes at the top and then bring it back down. So we're just going to keep that going. I'm going to start the timer. We're away in 10 seconds. Relax the shoulders. Okay, 45 second rounds today. Okay, let's go. Please try and keep your eyes up to the ceiling. We don't want to be looking at the feet because we want to keep our airways open and we want to keep that spine neutral. So it's three, two, one, squeeze. Three, two, one, graze the floor. Squeeze. Again, just try and keep those shoulders away from the ears. Push up. Abs are switched on. We are not coming so high that we're going to arch our lower back. Good work. Okay, 15 seconds rest. This time we're going to come up and we're going to hold that bridge position for 45 seconds. Okay, so we're pushing through the heels. Squeeze and hold. Excellent, try and keep those feet parallel to the ground. Ooh, the mat's rolling up as well. Come on, push the heels into the wall. So we're like we're pushing the wall away from us. Stay here, squeeze the glutes. Eyes up. Woo, feeling those glutes, hopefully you are too. The tummy on to Okay, let's roll it down to the ground. Okay, this time we're going to come up to the glute bridge and we're going to alternate heel lifts. So we're going to work the calves here as well as the glutes. Squeeze up. And then take it back down, one foot, then the other. If this feels like it's too much, just take a quick rest and then come back to it when you can. Try to let those, keep those hips up the whole time. Abs are switched on, always. Feeling that. Okay, let's roll it down. So this time we're going to take our feet into a V shape. Heels together, toes pointed outwards. And we're going to squeeze up and down. So we're coming, we're not going to hold this time. You're going to oh, come up as to the top of the position and roll it down. So we've just got a little bit of a different area that we're activating with the shape of the feet here. So if it's too much to have your heels touching, just take them away a little. Squeeze to the top of the movement, roll it back down. Come on, nearly there. Great work. 
Well done. Okay, so this time, I'm just going to pause the timer for a second. So we just have a little ah, glute stretch. So just five, ten seconds each leg. Okay, so this time we're going to take it to a basic crunch. So we're going to use the wall as resistance for the leg. So we're going to push through the heels. We're going to take the hands, support the head. We're going to squeeze up and at the same time we're going to push the wall away from us. Eight seconds. Okay, let's get ready. Let's squeeze it up and then roll it back down. It's like, almost like we're rolling our spine up off the mat and then taking it back down each time. Try and keep it controlled. Eyes up, chin away from the chest. Keep that tension in the legs, pushing away from that wall. Good job. Come on, we're nearly there. Excellent. Okay, so now we're going to come up. We're going to take it to a push-up. Okay, so we want our hands about shoulder width apart, chest height. The further back your legs are, the harder this movement is. And then we're going to do a glute. Squeeze at the top. So alternate glute squeeze. Squeeze. Try not to let the hips open up. Just squeeze the glute, flex the foot. So like I said, the further away you are from the wall, the harder this movement will be. I'm up on the toes. You can come down if you need to. Great work. Okay. This time we're going to do some leg circles. So hand on the wall, pushing away. Opposite hand. So on your hip. Okay. Supporting legs. Slight bend. We're going to come out around back. We want to keep the toes and the knees pointing forward. So we're just getting that rotation and that hip joint using the glute or the movement as the driver of that movement. And stay nice and tall. Looking straight ahead, out, around, back, and in. That's it. I tried to get the dog to sit on the couch, but do you think she'd listen? Okay, switching. I'm going to put my back to you, I'm sorry. Okay, so pushing away from that wall, right then in that supporting leg. We're going to come out, around, in, and back. So think about driving from that glute. Out, around, full circle, bring it back. You can feel that in the side of the leg. Nearly there. Brilliant. Okay, we're going to take it to a roll up now. So we want to stay nice and tall against the wall. Now we're going to engage that waist and we're going to try and roll down one vertebrae at a time, one rib at a time. 
until we're at the point where just the bottom rib is touching the wall. And then we brace that tummy and then we bring it back. One vertebrae at a time back to the starting position. Then we go again. Try to lengthen out the spine. Even though we're tipping forwards, try and keep that space between the vertebrae. Control it back up. Brilliant. Okay, guys, final exercise for our quick wall Pilates workout. We're going to take it to a good old wall sit. So you take it down as low as you're able to. Shoulders back. We want to try and get those legs as close to parallel, thighs as close to parallel to the ground as we can. This is our last exercise. So very short, quick, effective workout, just if you want to get some movement in. Hold it here. Looking straight ahead, relax the shoulders. Come on, we've got 15 seconds. Can you take it a little bit lower? 10 more, hold. We're gonna push off the wall when it's time. Okay, hands on the wall, up we come. Great job, let's stay here. We're going to open up that chest. Take the shoulder blades together and lift the chin. So that was our first, let's reverse that movement. Round through that upper back, tuck the chin. Our first real Pilates session, I'm sure there's more to come. Let me know what you thought. Move the shoulder blades apart here. Three, two, awesome. Okay, from the base to the top of the spine, round through. Shoulder roll here, guys. Other way. Brilliant. Let's take it feet wide. We're going to go to a nice deep side stretch. I want to grab that wrist. Keep Try not to tap the head on too much of an angle. We want to keep the head in line with the spine. And we're going to pull on that arm just to increase that side stretch. Great. Brilliant. Let's take it up and over to the opposite side now. Okay. Yep, other side. Just tuck my t-shirt in there. So you try and keep that neck long and strong. We don't want to drop it down here. I'm looking for that side stretch. Pull on that arm to increase the stretch. Five seconds. Excellent. Bring it to the center. Let's go to a shoulder roll here. Great job. Let's just do a quick quad stretch. We did get quite a bit of uh, leg and glute work in there. Start. Okay, so we're going to take our heel to our glute and then push the knee away. So if I put you off there from the body, five seconds. Two and release, brilliant, switching sides. Do, do, do. So like I said, just squeeze the heel to the glute and try and push that knee away from the body. So you've got that tension for an effective stretch. Five seconds. Three. Brilliant. Let's take it to our full body rotation here, flushing out all that hard work. Three, relax the shoulders. Good job. Okay, nice big inhale to finish. Two more, please. 
last one. And give yourself a massive clap. Well done. Brilliant effort. So let me know what you thought of that. I'd love you to hear your feedback. And well done for making it to the end of the workout. Have a brilliant day. Bye-bye.